So in this video, we are going to discuss about how we will consume a web service, a software-based web service using Spring Boot. So we are going to start a new project uh, using IntelliJ IDEA. So I am opening my IntelliJ IDEA. So here, <clears throat> here if you can see, I have a web service client that's based on access to. But uh, right now we are going with another project where we are consuming using Spring Boot features, not using access to any other libraries, just using Spring inbuilt Spring Boot web service uh, features to consume a web service so before that I already create a web, ser web service we can consume that web service so if you are going and running this one we can see how that web service looks like so this is a web service running on 9229 and I have a postman script that will have a body of uh, uh, this one get country request with a name it will return a list of countries with the same name so I am getting the country population uh, currency based on uh, repository on the back end so we are not concerned about anything about that so we have a, a SST file but we need to generate a WSTL file so the first step is to generate WSTL file from my web service. Generate generate w, WSTL from HST. So that is the one. So generating WSTL from HST file. Yeah, we need to do using Maven actually. So, Maven. So, okay, it's not Maven Spring Boot or something. So, creating a okay. So that's in the so for Ex Eclipse there is one, but uh, in this case I am not I am not sure we have something for that. So. Okay, so we are not concerned about that. We, if we are not getting any uh, BSTL, uh, we will use the same uh, XST. So I have XST here. I will use this for consuming a new web server. So what I am going to do is I will start a new project. That's the uh, beginning of uh, uh, consuming a uh, web service. So I am just, uh, I will uh, make a, everything default. So, web service, and I will make consumer or something. Then next, uh, in a web, and I will add the remaining dependencies based on the requirements. So, what exactly I need in requirements? So, Spring Boot, SOAP client. So, we need. We need some of the things create. So, what are the dependencies? That's a uh, first question. So, if I am going here, I have a. So, the first one is web service. So, the web service dependency we need. So, I am not concerned about that right now. 
I'm just creating my file right now and after okay so again okay, these are the dependencies we need so spring boot starter web service the first one and jacks b b2 plugin that's standard so it will take the wstl as we did in the web service itself so uh, we are using the same way that we did the web service per user so what I'm going to do is I'm going to my form.xml I will add that particular dependency here and after completing that one I'm going to add a plugin that include a configuration also so here I am copying that and I need to okay that's in build plugin so I have what I have in my build plugin that's a question right now so in my build plugin I have only the spring framework boot spring boot maven plugin so you can keep that one that will not make any problem with our implementation so what I am going to do is I am adding a new plugin I am adding a new plugin here that include a couple of things Maven Jack Speed 2 plugin generate that particular SRC main Java files using the SRC main WSDL so the other thing that I need is in a resource I need a directory that's called WSDL so it's almost same that we did for the last couple of videos <coughs> there is only few difference so for consuming our service we need only two dependencies one is web service and if you have access to uh, WSTL if you need to convert that uh, we need to have a jack speed to play that's uh, only two dep uh, dependencies we need so uh, next video we will see how we will start with uh, probably the first step is to convert uh, creating the Java classes based on this one okay so thank you for uh, watching this video tune for next video thank you for watching